Hey yo, what up people, this is your boy Jason G Kicks and today we are back with another video and in today's video guys we're gonna review the Jordan 1 Low Flight Club look at the shoe right here, pretty interesting colorway I gotta say oh man, we're gonna talk about all the details on this shoe because I know a lot of you want these shoes so I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna get if you're trying to get the uh, Flight Club Jordan 1 Lowe's. But before we go into that, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you like the content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video which is every single day guys. So, so go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as Jason J Cakes. And now let's begin this review. These are the Jordan 1 Low Flight Club. I got these shoes from Foot Locker. So if you wanna get these pair, go and check your local Foot Locker. I got this one for a retail price of $120. This shoe is supposedly a special edition Jordan 1 Low. These are celebrating um, the Jordan brand Flight Club. This has nothing to do with the resale store um, named Flight Club. Nothing, nothing to do with that brand. It's actually a exclusive club from Jordan brand that it's called Flight Club. And with this shoe, they are celebrating the history of that exclusive club from Jordan brand. Um, this shoe, what we get is this crazy colorway, but I think it's cool for the summer. We have this yellow and pitch on the back of the shoe. You can see the yellow here on the heel and the pitch color here on the ankle area. Other than that, we have a very neutral shoe with this um, dark gray color that the shoe has. Also, we have white leather on it on the toe and on the panel as well the swoosh comes in black as you can see right there the tongue as well with that pitch jump man that we can see right there this pair of shoe comes with this black laces that goes perfectly with the black tongue but also comes with an extra set of laces in this type of light pink or peach color that you can see on this pair by the way let me know which of these two is your favorite color laces to rock with these shoe because to me they look pretty fire just like this, but if you want to go a little bit more like muted, I don't know how you can do this wearing this color, but yeah, you can go with the black laces or if you want the shoes to pop even more, you can go with this one that's going to make your, your shoes tend up a little more. Pretty, pretty interesting color. I'm going to say the suede material on this shoe gives the shoe a really nice touch because it's not um, predominantly leather, even though we have leather on the shoe, like I previously mentioned here on the panel and on the toe. But the leather quality here is pretty mediocre. So you know what to expect in a pair of Jordan 1 Lowe's. That's exactly what you're always going to get, at least most of the time. I know there's some times when Jordan Brand puts some decent quality leather, but in this one won't be the case. Now, the suede on the shoe feels really good, I gotta say, and it's give the shoe a little better feeling. That's why we are paying 120 for these, not 100 or 110, which is the standard retail price for regular Jordan 1 lows. They label this one as an special edition. That's why the little increase of the price and probably is because of these nice suede because yeah the suede feels nice on this one i gotta say it's not a premium suede but it's really good at least a little better than the leather quality that they put on on jordan one lows and jordan one mid also on this one we have a white midsole pure white no sale no nothing just pure white and we have that lovely um, black outsole that is not gonna get dirty because it's black you know in black color then get as dirty as other colors get especially an outsole that is going to be always on the ground on the insole we have a pretty nice um insole as you can see right here with the flight club logo on it in that peach color pretty dope to see a different um design on the insole but it's because like i said they are celebrating the flight club history pretty dope pretty dope i like that detail right there sadly it's only 
on the insole. I would love to see that logo also on the tongue. Will be a really um, nice touch to the shoe, but now we only get that logo on the insole and on the tongue we have the regular um, Jumpman Air with a with this color this time. On the back of the shoe, we can see also the Winx logo as usual with this silhouette. Um, it's stitching right there, not printed, stitching like usual as well. Looks pretty nice. Like I said, this shoe is really good, really good for the summer. Uh, the colorway can be something that uh, some of you might not like, but like I said, for the summer, this is a good one. This one is also um, very similar to a pair of Jordan 1 highs that will release this month or next, I think next month is going to release the Jordan 1 high wash black, I think is the name of this. By the way, leave a like if you want me to do a review on this one so I can know that you're interested in seeing that review as well. So as you can see, these are pretty similar, just that this one is only in this dark gray or wash black. And this one has this colorful back of the shoe that we don't have on the, on the wash black Jordan 1 high. There's also a Jordan 1 mid version of the Flight Club Jordan 1 low. Let me know if you want me to do a video on that one as well. Let me know all that in the comment section. And you can easily let me know that just by leaving a like in the video. It's totally free and only gonna take one second of your time. And I will really appreciate that. Like like I already show you, the shoe looks pretty fire and feed. The quality, the materials that they use in this one are pretty decent. The retail price is just $10 more than the regular price that we pay in a pair of Jordan 1 lows. But for the suede materials that he put in on this one, I, I, don't, I don't mind paying 10 more dollars for the shoe. But if you do, I'm just letting you know that the retail price on this one is $120 instead of $110. But pretty dope, pretty dope shoe, I gotta say. I like it, I like it for the summer at least. I think this shoe gonna pop really nice if you know how to put a dope outfit with this one. I show you both of the lace option that the shoe comes with. This peach or pink color and the black laces. Also the shoe comes with this tag right here. I don't know what this tag goes about, but it's nice to see something different on, on our shoes when we are unboxing them. By the way, the box is also different. As we can see here, it's not the regular box that we get in Jordan 1 Lowe's and Mid. This one is my favorite Jordan 1 box, the black one with the Wings logo on the side. I would love to see this box in Jordan 1 highs as well, probably with the Wings logo in red. I love this box, not the not the boring um, black box with a gold jumping on the center. This one is the box that I love to see in Jordan 1's releases. Like, you know, it has the wind logo and everything. That's my, my favorite part of the Jordan 1. I'm a huge fan of the, of the Winx logo. I really love the Winx logo. So most of you know, most of you don't know, Jordan 1 is my favorite silhouette. The lows, the mid, the highs, I just love them all. So quick message, like I always said, don't pay attention to what all the people said about your shoes. The only thing that really matters is that you love the shoes that you're buying. That's the only opinion that you should care about yours so if other people say that jordan one lows are not cool don't pay attention to them if you like them go grab them guys thank you guys a lot for watching let me know your opinion about the video the shoes or whatever that you want to say go to the comment section and say it also go follow me on my instagram you have it here is jason j Kex. i'm always uploading sneaker pictures sneaker news or you know, if you just enjoy sneaker content, go follow me here on my Instagram as well. It's Jason J. Kick, same on TikTok. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, and till the next one. <sighs> Goodbye.